everyone what's up clevy nation welcome back to my channel it's your one and only girl clevy and i'm so excited to have you here with me today um good morning it's first of april yes it's first of april and happy new month you all happy new month i really pray that this month gives you good things that whatever this month has in store for you will be good things happiness and breakthroughs all throughout this month and i pray that may god answer all your secret prayers all your prayers that thing that keeps you up at night praying i pray god answers it in jesus name amen well i'm sitting up now and welcome to a day in a life while social distancing and in case you don't know what social distancing is i'm gonna put it right here right now on the screen yeah so that's what social distancing is all about the state i am in that aquai bomb state is on the lockdown i think on the 30th of march the um the governor said something and yeah it took effect so right now we're on lockdown and no one goes in no one goes out everyone should remain indoors and even if you want to go out there are so many um things here set in place like entering a car you have to just be two in the car not more than two and things like that so yeah it's really getting serious right now and a lot of people are just home most people, the only time i think anyone should go out is when you want to get something that is very essential like food but just going out partying just stay at home please just stay at home that's really what i'm saying okay so um this is just basically a video showing you how a day in my life is why doing a day how productive i am in a day um how what i eat what i do and so much more bear in mind that this is totally different when i am going to school or but i'm going to talk about that later in this video i'm definitely going to talk about that but this is basically different like when i'm going to school i can't wake up by past eight i can't do that <laughs> i wake up around six six thirty and i can't wait to have you along with me on this journey all right so let's get to it okay so my room is kind of like in a mess right now because yesterday i was looking for something and i literally just scattered almost everything just to look for one piece of paper so it's really really important it was um i think i was looking for a receipt yesterday and so i've seen it but i really need to do the arranging and so i have so many things to do today so 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 many um just to show you what it looks like my table looks like right now and my bed my bags mm. my bed that's what it looks like and the first thing i do immediately i get up is i arrange my bed and the reason is because i always feel that arranging a bed just gives me a clear head and i won't be tempted to lay back on the bed so let's do it now that i'm done with arranging the bed the next thing is I want to do the dishes because I just want everywhere to be clean first. Then I go have my bath and we do some other things. So join me while I do the dishes. So I've just finished doing the dishes and the next thing I want to do is to just sit down and I mean write out the things I really need to do today so I don't miss out on anything and so that I'll be able to know exactly what I need to do today because you know since we are home we have so many things we want to do but it's always all in the head so I always encourage all my friends and I personally to always write these things down so you have a to-do list and it's easy to check off those things and even after checking off those things it will look um, accomplishing and satisfying to look at at the end of the day because you have all those things checked off and 
the things you're not still able to do today at least you can do them tomorrow but you know that you've really done something productive today as you can see the weather is somehow and if we want to follow the weather <laughs> we end up not doing anything today <laughs> do any other thing the first thing on my list to do right now is to go take a shower and in that process I'm also going to wash my hair the reason is because I relaxed to my hair and it really gave me so many injuries and bruises all over my head so um, they weren't able to wash off all the relax that they had to leave it so today I'm going to do that I'm going to wash it off completely let's head to the bathroom I look from head to toe. So while waiting for my hair to get dried, I just want to sit with you and pour my heart to you, tell you about my life, my life update, and possibly the channel update as well. So so many things have happened between last year December and this year. And in this my video, where I was talking about the life lessons I learned in 2019. Even though you've not yet seen that video, make sure you click here to watch it. Or check my description box because the link to that video is right there so in that video i talked about how i wasn't able to get admission into medical school i don't know why i wasn't chosen but god knows best and so because of that um so many things have happened between that december and now i don't know about you but here in my country nigeria there are like three routes of getting into medical school and um, we have through jam JAM is this exam, this body that conducts exam where candidates take their exam and if you can pass the exams, you can gain admission into medical school. That's one of the routes. The second route is by going to study another course that is a medical related course and then using that certificate to gain admission into medical school. And the third route is by using BASIC. This is a nine months program where students that want to get into medical school come together you are being taught for a period of nine months and if you pass the exams you gain admission into medical school and so like you can see the three routes we have jam direct entry and basic since jam didn't work out for me last year i decided to take another route and this route is direct entry where i'm going to study a medical related course and then use that to gain admission into university so the course i chose to study and the course i've been studying for the past two months is microbiology i'm really loving microbiology mm. i know i don't feel like ah, you're learning about microorganisms yes that's what i'm learning about it's so fascinating to know that there is another whole world happening aside from our human world they have another world that has microorganisms ruling in that world and so um and let no one look at me right now like clearly why are you not finding the cure of coronavirus mm -hmm. I'm still learning. After studying microbiology for two years, I'm going to use that certificate and apply into medical school. That way, I'm still hoping that I'll get admitted into medical school. You know, um, whatever your heart yearns for, I don't want you to give up. Even if it looks like it's not happening right now. Like, I had a choice either to just let go of medicine as a whole and go study another course or just um, continue. And I chose to continue. And so this is another route I'm taking. It will still lead me at the end of the day to being a medical doctor, but it takes a more longer route. So I started school. And then I went to school and saw my timetable. God, I almost cried. The reason was because there was literally no time on that timetable for me to do something else. Mm -mm, there wasn't. The only time I had was always around 4 to 6 or around 6 o'clock or around 7 some extreme cases where we needed to do something in the lab. Microbiology is really hectic and because of that it didn't give me enough time to do things related to youtube because of the way my timetable was i came out with another upload schedule however that will take effect from now because right now my school is on hold because of coronavirus and i mean basically i think one month or so so i'm still going to be with you for the whole of april but however from may once school starts because we have four saturdays in a month 
I'm not going to be uploading every Saturday. But what I'm going to do is just to upload twice. That's two Saturdays. So I'm going to use one Saturday to film. Then try to edit the video during the week. Do all the necessary YouTube related stuff. And then upload the video another Saturday. So one Saturday will be for uploading. And one other Saturday will be for filming. So like I said earlier, I'm in love with microbiology. I'd love to also show you what it looks like to be a microbiology student, take you to the lab if need be, show you things in the lab that we do, and so much more. So just let me know in the comment section what you would love to see in the future um, on my channel, any vlog you'd love to see, what specifically you want me to show you in the lab as a microbiology student. I'll be glad to show you that. So I think my hair is getting dried. So let me apply my cream. This is the cream I use so fine. I think all my cream, they are always hot. I don't know if I'm the only one that feels this way, but I feel if I'm um, applying anything to my hair, if I don't hear that tingling sensation, I don't feel it's really working. So right now, we have um, I have things to check off my list. Let's check it together. I washed my hair, I've arranged my books, I've filmed the video. So right now I'm about to read my notes and that is microbial biochemistry. Um, that course is one course that I really need to read so, so much. reading for hours like I've been taking breaks in between and I just read for so long to whenever my concentration begins to falter and I take a break continue take a break and continue and then I checked the time like it was seven and I was like still reading from three to seven and it should be told I've really gained so much I've learned so much in fact I even feel that um I'm more prepared to write um, that exam now. Um, microbial biochemistry is okay, and but I'm still gonna read though tomorrow and other days. I mean, this is just one day. All right, so it's time to check things off my list, and I love this part because whenever I check those things off, it gives me this sense of accomplishment, and it gives this satisfying feeling that I'm able to do something productive today. I washed my hair, I arranged my table, and I've read my book. And the next thing I really want to do is just to check my comments on all social media platforms. Setting out a brief content plan for the new month will be done tomorrow because I didn't know that um, reading would take me this long. And after that, I'm going to play GTA and whew, that's been an interesting day this is the moment i've just been waiting for like i can't wait to always read your comments and talk back to you because this is one fun part i don't always want to miss every day i make sure i read all my comments and reply to all of them at least the most of them On my list right now is just to pick up my phone and play GTA. Yes, you heard me right. You know, a lot of people are always saying, Ah, Clevy, are you sure you watch it? You play GTA. Yes, I play GTA. As a matter of fact, I love it so much. And in case you want to see me play GTA, to be sure that I'm the one actually playing GTA, make sure that you watch till the end because i'm going to leave a screen record of me playing gta at the end i'm so happy for how this video has turned out 
thank you so much for sticking with me till the very end thank you for watching from when i woke up till now when i'm about to sleep if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel join the family if you haven't already um by subscribing to my channel and by clicking on the notification bell to get notified every single time i upload a new video every saturday clever nation i can't wait to see in my next video till then stay safe stay healthy and stay blessed i love you and thank you for watching